Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. So this morning, Qualcomm announced the Snapdragon X24. This will be the chipset to run alongside the X50 for the 5G networks next year. So this chipset is going to be a more capable LTE advanced device. It will, I mean chipset, it will be the first two gigabit LTE advanced chipset and it's coming out next year. So this one will be able to do seven carriers of LTE and it will be able to do 3x channel carry aggregation on upload using 256 qualms. So this uh, picture that you see here is a unannounced HTC device. I don't even know if this is coming out in the United States. This was uh, shown off, I believe, in Japan. And this was using a more LTE advanced capable chipset. I don't necessarily know if this was the Qualcomm chipset but it was a more advanced LTE chipset. So as you can see, speeds are 8, 809 on the download and almost 50 on the upload. So next year, we're gonna start seeing some um, pretty big speed increases uh, on the networks. So even if you drop off of the 5G network and the fallback is the LTE advanced, you're still gonna see spectacular speeds going forward. So I just wanted to uh, announced this to you guys that this will be the x24 will be the chipset to run alongside the x50 inside of the phones uh, next year um, i want to say samsung is going to be the first one since they have the exclusive contract with qualcomm to have the first flagship to run these uh two chipsets in the i want to say the galaxy s10 coming out next year so look forward to that it's going to be um a very interesting year but one thing that uh, a buddy of mine pointed out this morning, um, Arturo, that the chipsets are starting to get ahead of the, the carrier's network. So the, the chipsets are far more advanced than what any network can currently uh, put out. Um, I know in certain areas they do have it live or they're testing it or trials, but they the networks haven't caught up yet. And I think in the future, the chipsets are just going to get more and more advanced. So that's part of the reason I think why Apple isn't really stressing on uh, getting all of this in their phones just yet. Um, they want to make sure that it's more widespread before, before they include these type of chipsets in their phones. So, so definitely stay tuned. This is an interesting year coming forward. It's still too early to tell if uh, Apple is going to include any gigabit in their phones this year coming out. But as soon as it, that news comes out, I will definitely keep you guys up to date. Leave all your comments in the comment section down below. Do you think it's still too soon for the networks to offer these chipsets? Or do you think the networks will eventually catch up and uh, put out these type of speeds? So definitely stay tuned. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.